Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Google Drive interface. Now what you're looking at here is actually the old Google Drive interface and that is it was it was current until early 2018 and uh, it may look very familiar to you if you've used Google Drive a bit in, quite a bit in the past but as of kind of spring 2018 uh, users started seeing a new screen for Google Drive and here's what it looks like this is the this is how Google Drive looks for me in uh, Google Chrome on either a Mac or a PC and you can see that this the styling is a little bit different uh, the one of the big differences is in the old Google Drive the new button was blue let's take a quick look at that see it was a blue button like this uh, but the new one it has a new color but what I've discovered is basically the functionality of the button is exactly the same. It lets you do the same things that the old uh, Google Google Drive new button did before, such as creating a new Google Docs, uploading a file, um, maybe using other 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 uh, features of Google of the Google Suite, such as Google Forms, drawings, etc. But it's basically the same. And indeed, for this entire interface, I found very little that's completely new compared to the previous version of the Google Drive interface. The one thing visibly that's quite different is if you have a Google a G Suite account, and that's kind of like the business account, it used to be called Google Apps, you'll have this button up here, which kind of lets you access the different features of, of uh, G Suite. But otherwise, all of the other stuff, and these are the main, uh, right here are the main features that most people use. For instance, uh, checking out the different uh, files and folders that you have, checking out the recent files that you've accessed, looking at the files that you're sharing. This is exactly the same as it was for the older version of the drive interface. And importantly, the, the uh, search function still works as it did before. You can search by title. So for instance, 2018 cover update, you know, that shows the names of the, the files that I've been working on uh, in the various uh, Google programs as well as folders that have 2018 in it. or you can you can search for specific documents like if you want to see all the PDFs you would just click on that and it shows it it shows it uh, in a list down here and actually lets you see the ones that you have in trash as well there's one minor difference that I've noticed with the personal version of Google Drive so this is the G Suite version of of, uh, of Google Drive as I mentioned this is like the business account it used to be called Google Apps but if you have a personal account it will look a slightly different and I'll show you what I mean this is the, uh, I'm viewing this in Firefox and I'm logged in as using my personal Google account. And basically everything looks the same as the, as the other one, except in the top there's, there's no G Suite uh, mention. And then one other thing I noticed was this backups icon. And if you click it, it says no backups. And I think what's going on here is this is related to the, uh, the Google backup in sync application. This replaced the desktop Google Drive application last year and this is a new application that you can use to perform two-way synchronization. That is if you have these, this new application installed on your PC or your Mac and you drag files or folders to it or you add a file or folder to it, it will show up it will show up here and why it's showing no backups for me is because I haven't installed that particular application yet. And for people who are using the business account, so here, here's my uh, G Suite Google Drive version, they use a slightly different type of backup mechanism. Actually, it's not slightly different, it's very different. It's called Drive File Stream, and that's why I believe that it's not showing me the backups option here. But otherwise, everything is pretty much the same. If you've used Google Drive in the past, this will look completely you know, the same. It, it, this will look a little bit different, but the behavior and the features will be almost exactly the same. Uh, one thing to note, the other main applications within G Suite, and that would be Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, Google Forms, those look the same as before. So they haven't changed, at least not yet. That may change, that may, uh, they, they may update the interface in the next year or two, but as of today, and this is the middle of 2018, uh, those applications look the same. If you want more information on how to get the most out of Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, 
I've written this book. It's the second edition of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. You can find it on in30minutes.com. And it really covers everything from the Google Drive uh, desktop app to the mobile app for Google Docs and Google Sheets, plus things like uh, Google Sites and Google Forms and lots of other features that people are interested in using. For more information, go to in30minutes.com. And thank you so much for watching.